Hi everybody, I'm SS the Showstopper and I'm coming to you from the Devil Advocate channel. Now from my neck of the wood, there have been a lot of flare up on social media, a whole lot of discrepancies among the social media sensation characters and artists and it's spreading, it's causing a wave in the Caribbean region and in most parts in America where people are tuning in, people are watching to see the basically a disgraceful um, display of character among artists, among people that are on social media and all that. Now, I'm here to give a more intellectual opinion, a more common sense approach as to what's taking place and my advice. Okay, now when we're all growing up, there are a whole lot of things that affect us. First and foremost, our parents, based on what they taught us, based on what we saw in the home. Another thing that affects us was our environment in and of itself. And I'm talking about the health, the health hazard, I'm talking about the ecosystem, this and that, all that good stuff. Then the people, people that we saw, people that we heard, people that were around us and what they did, and how we grew up knowing right from wrong, knowing this from that, knowing what to say, who to avoid, who to communicate with, who to keep company with, who to share our most inner thoughts with, who to look to for assistance. We were aware, we were well aware of that based on how we were raised. Now, what's taking place on social media is nothing new. People have their court squabbles, their discrepancies, their arguments, their fuss, their fight. But what's taking place right now, as we see, it's putting a damp on the entertainment industry in Jamaica, in particular dance hall. And it's affecting a lot of people, especially from the business sector. This whole melee is not looking good on the female artists. And I have this to say, I have this to say, to the female artists, because I'm an upcoming artist myself. And at times I have to remember and stay in character and remember that, okay, yes, I'm doing music, I'm pursuing music, I'm pushing it. And I want people to approach me with respect. I want people to see me and recognize my craft. I want people to realize and recognize that, listen, this is a person that takes her craft very serious. This is a person that takes who she is, her image, her identity, that she, have, I'm sorry, that she, projects as an artist she want people to take her very serious so i have to remember that at all times to stay within character of myself so i can be more approachable and more respectable the right people will knock on doors and approach me you know not avoid me but this whole melee that's on social media right now it's really not looking good and i have this to say to the female artist what's happening right now i see a lot of you that were you know, wasn't making a buzz years ago, a few years. Sometime now wasn't making a buzz and you're starting to make a buzz right now with your music. My advice to you, the people that are causing you to turn on your phone, go on social media and be disrespectful or be rude or answer them then basically, let me see. For those who are turning on their phone and they're answering these people, always remember that you have more to lose than them. You have more to lose than the people that you're responding to or you're reacting to. Because what I'm seeing is that a lot of people are reacting. They have a knee-jerk reaction to everything that someone says to them or about them on social media. And I'm talking the female artists. You have to remember that you have a lot more to lose than those who are calling your name, those who are saying things about you, those who are just uploading videos, those who are going on live and disrespecting you. You have way more to lose than them. There's a professional approach that you can take and there's also an unprofessional approach, which most of you are already taking, the unprofessional route. There is a professional route that you can take to respond to these people, to get to these people so they can stop calling your name, they can leave you alone, they can stop associating you with the negative. When you have a lot to lose, you realize that, when you realize, I'm sorry, that you have a lot to lose, you get to understand that the energies that is around you should be positive and not negative. If all the time you upload a video and you're going to respond to something negative that someone has said to you, you're going to respond to it in a negative way. You're basically closing on the protons that are inside of you. And so what's happening is that you're opening up a field of more negative energy to be around you, to encompass you. So 
at all time, what's going to happen is that at all time when you meet someone, it's going to be something negative. It's going to be a negative result. At all time, whoever it is that you were encountering with eventually will have a fallout with them. Eventually, because that's what's going to happen. You're pulling and you're attracting negative energy because what you have to lose is your career, right? You have your image, you have your character. You want to know that you can get bookings. You want to know that you can get endorsement. You want to know that corporate people will respect you. Business people will respect you because the money is not only in music. Music is a um, mere conduit or a guide or a path or an oracle, you know, or passage to moving to a higher, to a higher deem, to a, I, I'm sorry, a higher aura, wherein you can attract positive people that are around you. That means you well. So when you're constantly responding to these people negatively, what end up happening is that you are going to attract more negative energy. Your chakras are all over the place. You're not attracting anything positive. You know, and sooner or later, what's going to happen? No one will ever hear of you unless you're in something that's negative, negative, and it will affect you. It may seem good. It may seem like I don't care type of attitude that you need to have. I don't give a F. Whoever says this, I'm going to answer them. I don't care. You can walk around with that attitude all day, every day. But I guarantee you, when you are alone, when you realize, when you come to oneness within yourself, and you realize that, all the things that you are doing is not projecting positive things. You're not getting positive feedback. You're not making more money. You're not being approached by people who sees good in you, who wants to invest in you. Then you're going to have it to deal with. And if you don't see the good, your potential, if you don't see the good within yourself, you can go on the internet and you can always say whatever it is that comes to your mind to these people who are going at you. You can say whatever it is that comes to your mind if you have no idea where you want to go or you just don't care. You understand? But once you care and you respect your craft and you respect how people see you, you are going to think twice. Now, I don't have control over how people choose to see me but what I do have control over is how I project myself to people. That's what I have control over. A lot of these people that are coming at you, that are uploading video, that think that you're an easy target, a lot of them are mere stepping stones towards something greater that's over on the other side. If you can step and you can overcome whatever it is that is being thrown at you in a positive way, if you can respond in a positive way and you can step over it, trust me, there is a bucket of gold at the end of the rainbow. There is a bucket of gold at the end of the rainbow. But if at all times you're going to be like, is this your mother, this, that, underneath, this, that, overneath, everything, if that's how you're going to continuously approach it, you will forever be in that situation. You will forever be in that quagmire where you can't get out of it. And you're going deeper and deeper and deeper. And when you go deeper, it closes in on you. So nobody's going to be interested in you. There's so many artists out there upcoming females out there who want a slice of the cake, who want attention, including myself. I'm not going to lie. I want people to recognize my talent. I want people to recognize my craft. I want bookings. I want this. I want that. But I'm certainly not going to go out and put myself out there where people have these nasty things to say about me and I'm going to respond in a nasty tone. I'm going to give them that because when I do, I'm going to close in on the portals. I'm going to, I'm going to make my chakras all over the place and then I'm going to end up wearing all these negative people are the only type of people that I can see that are around me. There are times when you have to be alone by yourself to be atonement, to have inner peace. If it's even a week or sometimes even a month, sometimes you have to take it day by day. Sometimes you have to take it an hour because this hour you will feel good. The next moment you have it to deal with. Sometimes you have to take it hour by hour to have inner peace. If I know it's not easy because how we were raised, as I said before, affects us. The people that we saw, the people that we were around, what they taught us based on their actions also, not necessarily what they say, but based on their actions, affects us as individual. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. We are all affected one way or the other. Sorry about that, guys. My battery died again. But as I was saying, how we were raised affects us. We are all affected by the things that we saw, the things that we encounter with, the type of people that we meet in life while growing up. It does affect us. But when you're conscious 
and you're aware of yourself, when you're at atonement with yourself, the good thing is that you are now aware and able to spot it on immediately so you know how to divert from it. Like I said, if your career is not of any concern to you, of any great significance to you, then you can always upload a video and go in on people as soon as they go in on you. You can always go and attack back as soon as they attack you, but it's going to put a damper on your career and on your image as an artist. And myself, as I said before, at times I have to look within myself and realize that, okay, yes, I'm pursuing music and I want to be seen a certain way. So I have to know what I say. I have to know how I project myself to people so they can respect me and take my craft serious. Okay. We are all human beings and we all have feelings. And like I said before, there's a professional way to respond to these miscreants. There's a professional way to go about it and there's also an unprofessional way. And so far, many of you have been using the unprofessional way, which is marring or tarnishing the image that you spent so much time trying to create for yourself. Okay, you may need a safe space. You may need to avoid a lot of people. Take a break from social media. That's also a strategy that can be used. It's an effective strategy that has worked for many people. You know, everything does not require a negative reaction or a negative response. Sometimes you can also ignore it. Like I said, you should view these people as stepping stones. You should view these people as a pivot towards something greater. Never allow people to reduce you or to reduce or allow yourself to be reduced to what they want you to be or for what they want the media to see you or the public to see you as. You are in control of your imagery. You are in control of yourself. A lot of these people, you as female artists are well aware of and male artists also are well aware of, are not going anywhere in life. They have nothing going on for them. Misery loves company. It doesn't like to be alone because it cannot feed on itself if it's alone. It's going to go into self-destruct mode. So what misery like, is to accumulate people, energy, that can share the same misery as them, that can be in the same space. So it takes a spotlight of their shame, of their disgrace, and so project it on you. So the spotlight will be on you in a negative light. Before I, I go any further, let me big up Local Island Trip. Local Island Trip, where you tour the entire island in fine comfort. As I said, all of these are double destination tours, they are double destination excursions, and they take you all over the island. Um, some of the places that I said before are Wise Falls and Little Ocho Rios. There is Blue Hole Mineral and Rick's Cafe, Jamaica Zoo and Apple Valley Park, Strawberry Field and Port Maria. Dolphin Cove, you know, where you're swimming with the dolphin, you can take pics, you can go snorkeling, jungle trail. Other wonderful stuff. You can also go to Frenchman Cove and Boston Drug Center, tour the entire Port Antonio, Rio Grande Rafting. We also have day passes that we offer in our packages. Snacks are included, lunch are included, giveaways, 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 okay? So book with a local island trip. I'll leave the contact information in the description for you guys to take a look at, okay? So book with the local island trip where you tour the entire island in fine comfort, okay? Now back to the topic. You have to be in control of yourself. You have to know what is it that you want people to see. There are several ways you can go about it. Like I said, the professional and the unprofessional way. Don't reduce yourself to melee, to quagmires, things that will make it more difficult for you to dig yourself out of and have to reinvent yourself each and every time in order to keep people. Sure, there are many ways to get attention without having to do this, without having to respond to insignificant people that do not contribute to your career in any way possible, especially in a negative way. You are just going to block all avenues that wants to take you, take you serious and take you professionally. You're blocking all those avenues and then you're just reducing yourself to all of this and every single day, it will be another upload, it will be another negative energy. The people that also follow these sensations are also very destructive. They're also very destructive because they're gainsayers. They are aiding and abetting to the life and to what these people are projecting. And they're pulling other people in them because, as I said, misery loves company. They want you to be a part of it. You have to be able to spot this thing from a mile away. There are things that you should know when you're 20 that a lot of people know at the age of 15. 
whether it be positive or negative. There are things that people know, should know at the age of 30 that a lot of people also know at the age of 15. It speaks to your IQ, it speaks to your intelligence, it speaks to your wisdom. What have you gained? Because when you seek, when you seek to understand, when you seek to know yourself, you're, you're projecting a higher form of the cosmology. So you're always aware of your surrounding, you're always aware of the type of people and what they are about long before they even come into your life. So you know how to avoid them, you know how to be far from them, you know how not to entertain that kind of energy and that type of circle. And that's what I'm trying to send out to the artists in Jamaica, especially the female artists, because they are the ones that are having this back and forth with these sensations, with these low-life miscreants, these degenerates, these deplorables that are going absolutely nowhere. And you know, they are bullies also. They like to say things to gain attention, to galvanize attention and heavy attack on people. Do not give them that energy because that's what they used to feed. Let their fans take it, let their fans take it. Because eventually, as I said, these people become juggernaut. And how you destroy a juggernaut? You can't. It goes into self-destruct mode, eventually. You know, eventually they go into self-destruct mode. You can be the greatest of clapping back at people, reading people, shading people, you can be the best at it. You can be the best at anything, but the greatest of robots out there destroys itself eventually. Because it's gonna be, it's gonna need to be revamped each time. There's gonna be new advancement. So put yourself in that position where you see everything from a mile away coming, so you know how to avoid it. That's a message that I want to send out to the artists and to all the female artists that are caught up in the social media diatribe that are making people reducing them to all these squabbles, all these unnecessary beef. You know that are just not doing anything for you. Like I said, I myself is an artist and you know, I make mistakes, but the good thing is that I'm aware of it so I can come back and I can say, okay, yeah, this is me. This is what I want people to see, you know? So with that being said, I hope you all take it, take my advice. I'm not here to insult anyone. I'm not here to disrespect people, but I have to call it what it is because that's what exactly what I am seeing. And I'm certain there are lots of people out there that are seeing it also. So I hope you just take my advice and just look within yourself and realize that, listen, these people are not worth it. You should see them as stepping stones and pivot towards something greater, you know? And be good, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you next time on the Devil Advocate channel. Enjoy your day, God bless you.